nine minutes time. I wonder how disciplined our guest at 20 past eight was at school. Keith Lemon is live with us this morning. Uh, a little bit busy there, Keith, but did you listen to your teachers? What? <laughs> I'm just showing them my book, it's this. <laughs> right, did I, I listen think... to my teachers? You don't listen to anyone, Keith, what are you talking about? What? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope you'll be ready for us in about 20 minutes time. Now though, let's have a look at the weather with Laura. Good luck. Now then, he's given us celebrity juice, brought us the words bang tidy uh, to the Are world. Are you responsible for that? I don't know. We've just given no, you I'm responsible response. for the word the. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, I invented it. <laughs> when? Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and, until then, we didn't know what it was. Now he's showing us... No, I don't say the. I say to... to yeah, I've never said that, ever. You Apart just, from when I just, just said it then. three times. Yeah, no. I'm promoting the word the. Let's get it back out there and use it more. <laughs> <laughs> Stop saying t. T. Moff tit shop. Um, there's brains behind your bravado, apparently, it says here. You've got two new books out and uh, you're the best dressed man in television. Am I? Uh huh. Well, I've got some nice shoes on you today. You have. Let's have a look. Quite nice now we're talking about shoes. shoes. Right, let's have a look at your shoes. Let's see if we can get your shoes on camera. Look, my shoes because on camera. we've been talking about shoes this morning. We were just talking to a head teacher. Oh, no, you have to turn them sideways on. And there we go. Uh, we were talking to a <laughs> head teacher. That's the position you've been in. Uh, were you good about wearing uniform at school? We didn't have school uniform at my school. You can sit back okay. up now. <laughs> um, no, we didn't have school uniform, but I can remember the school bully saying, Lemon, why do you always wear your best clothes to school? I said, I don't, they're all good. They're Simple. All good, yeah. That's just how it was. No, we didn't. We, that, that's me as a kid, look. There's me as another kid. Well, not the same kid, but a different picture. <laughs> There's me as an older child with no teeth. That's a nice picture. So you've, you've always the had same the same hair. hair. It's slightly different now. I have like a graduated bob at the back, sort of thing. <laughs> and, and sort of a root perm. A root perm. Is it naturally curly? No, it's natu what I do is I put like wax in it and scrunch or, or mousse. Mousse for men. I think that'd be a good idea for uh, Dragon's Den. Mousse for men, because all oh, mousse is for ladies, isn't is it? it? Yeah, it all looks like it's aimed at ladies. If you were doing a mousse for, for a man, what would, how would you, how how would you, would pitch you it march, march to it? Deborah? I'd say we should do mousse for men. <laughs> I don't think she's going to be in. I think she'll be out. It's oh, not, well, it's I'm not bothered about her <laughs> anyway. Listen, you've written two new books. One wasn't enough, and one is a kind of extension of your memoir, and one is a children's book. Yes. And we've been warning parents all morning that if you're writing a children's book, there's obviously going to be some risks attached. Are there? No, because I'm not mad. And um, I have friends that have children, and basically it was my gift to them. Because um, I love children because they are the next generation and can rule the world, can't they? So we should look after them. And in the book, there's lots of morals and they'll learn Is not there? to swallow chewing gum because it clogs up your arteries. Yes. And stuff like that. Go little, to the little, toilet before you go out of the house. Yes. Little messages like that. So it is a sensible book. And I've done all the illustrations. I'm being very sensible because <laughs> everyone on like Twitter and stuff said, the beaver and the elephant. That's the name of it. Yes, it's about two animals that live in London and rent a house from a sweaty fox. Called Mr. Sweaty Fox. Yes. And in the interests of research, I read it to my nine-year-old son last night. And he liked it. He loved it. Yes, He yes. laughed like a drain. Well, there's a part where the elephant does a poo in a shoe shop. And because it's for children, I thought, I won't paint the... Um, well, I, didn't, I did it on my iPad. Mm. So did I you? did it with my finger. And <laughs> I thought, I won't make the poo brown because parents might go, oh, brown poo. Too much. So it's pink and shaped like a love art. <laughs> so that's the sen that's your sensitive that's side, nice. isn't it? That's your sensitive side. I'm very side. sensitive. You, you, you know, I can be naughty. At 10 o'clock, I'll do whatever I want and you better cut it out if it's offensive. Yeah. But through the day, you I'm a lovely fella. 26 fellow. minutes past 8 in the morning. Oh, I'm lovely. I did this morning for a year. So people say to me, don't swear, don't do this when you come on telly. But I don't, because on, we're on daytime. I don't want to offend anyone. I just want people to smile and enjoy their day. So that's the kids book. <laughs> And you've done the memoir as well. Yes, don't read the memoirs, the um, little Keith up. Lemon. Don't read that to kids. Don't get them mixed up. <laughs> because the brains will be corrupted by the time of the five. Well, it sounds like reading the book, which I did last night, your brain was corrupted by the time you were five. Yeah, but I'm weird. You just told me you weren't. But I am a bit, I, you know I'm a bit weird. I'm, you know, I'll just tell you what, I don't have an edit button sometimes and I just say things. I don't mean to offend people. I just enjoy myself too much. That's what happens. One of the things I love is that, like me, oh, one of the things I love is, like, I'm trying to do an interview. He's a professional, that, uh, Susanna, by the way. You won't be able to resist He's a professional distraction. He's stroking my hand, just in case you didn't realise what was going is that, on. Is that to John Leslie? <laughs> 
Um, is that, like me, you grew up loving Duran Duran, and one of the tips that you helpfully give people in your book is that if you want to walk with confidence, yes. you should walk to a Duran Duran track Well, in get a your tune head. in your head and walk with that tune in your head. Which and you one get, is You'll it? develop as, 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 what, well, now, uh, Wild yeah. Boys. Wild, wild Boys. boys. Wild Boys. <laughs> wild Boys. <laughs> the Wild Boys are calling <laughs> on their way home from the shops. <laughs> and then... Give us the walk. How's that, how do you walk yeah. to Wild Boys? Yes. Come on. Wild What's boys. a wild boys? Wild yeah. boys. Well, I, 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 I can't hear wild boys, but it's in my head when I'm walking, okay. yeah? Sing I it, then. Go. Wild boys. <laughs> <laughs> and Sorry. the rest of us just have to imagine it. Any... <laughs> any, oh, other, any other top tips for poison confidence in the morning so as people you've get ready to, to go to work? You've got to love yourself, haven't you, Alfie? You've got to like yourself before people can like you. And sometimes, if that means liking yourself in a room by yourself, then that's what you do. That's yeah. what you in the mirror and just going, you know what? You look great. Look really good. I love it. That's um, thing. Anyone good coming up on Celebrity Juice? Um, tonight on Celebrity Juice, it's a McBusted um, special. But if you're Italian and you're a chef on television, it seems that you, it's hard for them. I'm talking about Gino. It's hard for him to say McBusted. He's, he's not Italian. You don't know it's McBusted, Gino. <laughs> He's not Italian. Christmas I think he special. does it on purpose. The Christmas special, by the way, Susanna Reid will be. Susanna Reid's on the Christmas special. Coming in. Did you have a nice time? I loved it. You made me wear a Little Miss Christmas jumper. I thought that jumper looked amazing. We on all you. had You look <laughs> silky. There you are. <laughs> we all had to wear Christmas outfits. You look like outfit. silk. And you look like Santa. I do. Don't look. In his teenage years. It's a nice picture of us. Absolutely lovely. We should get married. We <laughs> you do look good together. We do, don't we? This could happen. <laughs> Hold on, I'll go over there. Let's have a look. It's a whole new presenting Next time you want to go on holiday. Yeah, that's it. Right. Um, you do that bit. It's Which lovely. You want? It's lovely. There this we one. go. Here we go. Do you want to read what's happening tomorrow? On tomorrow's show... But the re yellow writing? No, not the yellow, yellow bit. Oh, Oscar winning actress Anne Hathaway talks about her latest adventure into space for the film Interstellar. And what's happening next, Keith? Now it's time to join Lorraine. Have a lovely day. Bye. Lorraine, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. Join me after the break when best-selling author Marion Keyes reveals how writing her new book saved her life. And I'm going to be joined by Game of Thrones star Jerome Flynn and spook star Matthew McFadden. See you in a minute.